So, as some of you guys have been waiting, I will show you how to add morph targets in Unreal Engine Level Sequencer. Actually, there are two ways of doing this, by using Animation Blueprint and by Control Rig. But in this video, we will use Control Rig since we already have a mocap animation in place. But before we begin, please click to subscribe to our channel. We would really love that. Thank you. Here's this character's control rig I created, and we are going to add some morph targets here for us to access them in Sequencer. Here is the list of morph targets. You can pick any you wish to add, but for the sake of time, we are just going to add three of them. Now we start. First, let's create a null. Unparent it. Let's name it uh, Morph Targets. Let's right click on this and create a new control. We name our new control iBlink or you can name it anything you want. So, we're going to create two more controls and name them the morph targets we wish to add. Okay, now let's add some nodes. We have to set the curve value of the morph and get the control we would use to drive it. Here's how it's done. Now we search and add the eye blink morph target here. And here, oh, I think I used the wrong node here. Wait, let me delete this and add the right get command. Okay, let's add the right one, which is get control float. The reason for this float is for us to be able to change the morph's form only with numbers in the sequencer. Now let's enter our iBlink control. Then connect the float value to the set value. Finally, we change the eye blink control value type to float, and then turn off its visibility. We don't need to see it like we see the bone controls. Next, we duplicate this with control D, and add the next morph target like we did before. Relax and observe. It's the same process anyway. Thank you. 
Now we connect them one by one back to the forward solve line. You can group this by selecting them and then press C. Let's also change color. Then double click here to rename group. So, the forward solve connection is done. Next is the backward solve, which is down here. What we do in this side is like the reverse of what we did in the forward solve. Now we set the control float this time around. and then get the curve value as we now want to get the morph target's value. So, it's time to add the control, and then the morph target accordingly. Let's duplicate and repeat same process for the two remaining morph targets. Finally, let's connect them. Then we compile and save. Now we are finally done here. Let's get to level sequencer and add our character with an animation. Okay, we now have a mocap animation. 
Let's play this idle breathing animation. Well, there's no facial expression at all here. Let's change that. First, let's bake this animation to our control rig and test the morph targets. Okay, that was successful, and the animation is still intact. So here are the baked keys in the controls. Well, down here is our morph target controls, but we can't do anything here because a lot of keys are baked, so to add or edit anything with this control rig, we have to use the additive feature. Click on the section button on the control rig and pick additive. Now we have space to key in something. Let's test our morphs. Okay, it's working. So, let's make some eyes blinking animation and see how it goes. Yeah, I love that. Quite working as planned. Okay, so that's one way to add morph targets in Sequencer. I'll stop here for now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to support us. Until I come again, keep nurturing in 3D.